Yep. Welcome. I am doing a Q&A today. I asked you guys questions yesterday, so I thought it would be the perfect time to answer all of your long-awaited questions. I can't remember the last time I did a Q&A, but they're always my favorite to do just because I get to answer some of those questions that either keep popping up on my Instagram or in the YouTube comments. But quickly, before we get into it, it is my last time on Style Code Live tonight, so I will be on live tonight. All of the information will be in the description box below. I'm showing you guys how to style chokers, these kind of crazy wrap chokers that you guys have seen me rock before I show you how I style them how I tie them all that fun stuff so be sure to tune in tonight and uh, yeah that's it so I screenshotted my favorites and that I don't think I've answered before or it's been a while or new I don't know whatever here we go let's get started what clothing item do you own the longest and what's the newest item in your closet love you love you too <laughs> there's a denim jacket I think I might have like just been like, all right, it's time to let you go. I actually bought that from American Eagle in like my freshman year of high school. I'm not even kidding you. Is there any video you regret filming or find embarrassing? Maybe from your early years on YouTube. Like my first few years on YouTube, they're so cringeworthy, I can't. It's like looking at an old awkward photograph and then like having it talk back to you and you're like, do you and at the modern gypsy patrick fight often and why uh yeah yeah we do fight i know like a lot of people too especially on instagram which i think is so i love it but i'm really glad i didn't have it in middle school and high school because i think i would have felt really down on your on myself because instagram is very much a highlight reel of your life you're not gonna put a photo of you guys like pissed right you're gonna put the the best times of your life on instagram or even just you as a single person you're gonna put the best times of your life on there relationships just in general no matter who they're with you're not gonna like be a hundred percent every single day and especially with patrick and i's case like we work together he films my videos we're together like 24 7 so yes occasionally we have fights but most of the time we are happy happy people and we love being together um but i don't want it to seem like on camera and on our instagrams like we're just this perfect couple who like never fights and we're just like lovey-dovey all the time because that's not the case and it won't be with any relationship if youtube ever stops being your main job what career would you want to pursue i graduated college i have a degree in public relations and marketing. So I think if YouTube didn't work out, I would go into some sort of field involving that. I obviously really love fashion and beauty, so since PR and marketing is huge for that, I would love to go work in the fashion industry. I'm from Wisconsin and love it here. What is one thing you miss most about the Midwest? So if you also didn't know, I am from the Midwest. I am from Wisconsin. I grew up in Wisconsin. I started YouTube though when I was in college in Minnesota. I think the thing that I miss the most about living there, being there, is the people. All my friends and family <laughs> were there until we moved here and we kind of just got up and left everything. Like, people are really, really nice there. So it's always kind of refreshing to go somewhere and know people are gonna be you know, pretty nice to you for the most part. What country would you like to visit next? I actually have a trip potentially planned in August. I'm going to Montreal, Patrick and I are, to go visit our friends Alex and Dan. Next is, you seem so confident without being arrogant. What's your biggest confidence tip? <laughs> I guess with the whole arrogance thing, I think that there, there's a huge difference between being confident and loving yourself and feeling good about yourself and just like kind of walking with this like, you know what, I'm me type of attitude versus walking and talking and being like you think you're better than other people that's when it gets dicey you know because you never want to think that way first of all but ever come off that way next is would you ever consider living somewhere else in the world if so where for the longest time wanted to live in england i when i studied abroad there and when i was in college and lived there for four months and i was like i don't want to leave i remember when my parents picked me up from the airport i cried like i actually cried driving home i was like i don't want to be here i want to be like in england like i just loved it that much are you and pat planning on getting married if so when i cannot explain to you guys how often we get this question pat yeah People want to know a really serious question. Okay. Really serious. Are you, you want ready? A super serious question. I can probably really give serious. A, a super serious answer. All right. When are we getting married? 
I didn't know we were dating. Right. It's on the to-do list. There's like no, it's not yeah, like a It's not like yet. we're in a rush. We don't want to rush into that. So do we want to get married? We've talked about it. Yes. yes. So anyways, yeah, that's our answer to the question. It'll happen soon-ish, hopefully, unless something drastic happens and we break up, God forbid. It's not gonna happen. Why did you decide to live in New York City and why not LA? I had been to New York multiple times. I really did like New York, um, or liked New York at the time, yeah. But also too, like I was getting really into like fashion, street style, the blogger type of stuff, um, doing more. I love having seasons and being able to film lookbooks for you guys with different seasons. And New York just seemed like a really good fit. And I will say in LA, I just didn't feel 100% me there. I felt a little bit, I don't know. I just, it wasn't me and I just, I knew it wasn't, it didn't, like I knew it wasn't gonna feel right being there and I just, the vibe of New York, I just prefer, I don't know, I just really like it. What would you want to have accomplished in 10 years from now? Um, personal life aside, like if I would say like my career and like what I'm doing on YouTube, I think it would be so epic to have some sort of fashion line for you guys that's affordable. Where did you get this or that? Like I could just, have it for you like I just think that would be so amazing I could be able to do like the look for less videos that I'd want and you guys could have it just right there and so accessible and I just think it would be a really fun project do you think your style has evolved since you moved to New York if so what have you been influenced by 100% yes there's no fashion limitations here it's kind of like the fashion hub and anything kind of goes and I love that I just I feel more creative Whereas when I lived in Minnesota and Wisconsin, it was more laid back, chill, and I felt like I would get looked at weird for dressing a certain way. I just, I remember this one, a little bit of story time for you guys here. You know, and obviously times have probably changed, but one time I was in high school and I remember seeing on some sort of show, because get the look from the start, and I saw this girl wearing a leather jacket and I was like, she looks epic, I want a leather jacket. So. Saved up my money, I was working at a restaurant, and I was like, I'm gonna get a leather jacket. And I can't even express to you guys the feeling of walking to school and feeling like everyone was like, whoa, like, they." I remember like I got this one comment like, greaser, like, oh, like from the movie Grease, you know, like the T-Birds, and like, I don't know, I got like kind of judged for it, and I was like, God, this is so cool, like, what? And then I remember taking it off halfway through school because I thought people were like making fun of me and for just dressing like a little differently. Long story short, I think my fashion has evolved tremendously. I just feel more free. The craziest thing you have done with Patrick, that we were had been dating for about a year and he was like, hey, like, let's have a date night. I have like a place I want to take you. I was like, okay. We went like downtown and we went behind this alleyway and he was like okay you're gonna need to climb i was like he wanted me to like scale this building and i'm like uh it was actually really cute he had like this like blanket set up with like food and like dinner was on top of this roof in downtown minnesota and it was super cool but i remember freaking out the whole time because what we were doing was totally illegal what would you say your spirit animal is definitely a hummingbird Biggest reality check tip for people who mo moving to NYC who, n who have never been. If you don't have a car, figuring out where a freaking grocery store is was like my biggest thing and like how to get groceries and like carrying them and like, uh, like freaking out. Also like the subway, getting around, the accessibility of things, walking when you get out of the subway, that's like a huge reality check. Okay, so this question I get so much. Let me take a sip of coffee. Um, it's how do you afford your clothes specifically? How do you afford your clothes before fashion became your career when I first started doing get the look videos? I did not do intense like six outfits like all these different pieces like I did like one maybe two outfits and I did get the look videos like once Every couple months every few months and it was like I focused on like even the hair and makeup more not so much the clothes whereas now it's like strictly the clothes um, so I genuinely I just kind of like saved my money like that's pretty much it I had a job all through college I had a, 
I had jobs like growing up like I didn't just start YouTube when I was 16 and like didn't have a job I literally had a job I started YouTube when I was 20 and saved up some stuff and just kind of like had a really shitty camera and whatever times have changed and at YouTube now people are making money off of it that's no secret everybody knows that so I always looked at it as like I'm gonna use that money to create better content for you guys and sometimes I will return it depending on like if I genuinely want to keep it I used to do giveaways all the time um, on Twitter with like the get the look stuff but then that kind of got a little dicey and like giveaways kind of get sketchy because there's like spam accounts and things like that so that was kind of fizzled out a lot of the times I will take all the clothes and I will donate them to either like a shelter or like a uh, Salvation Army, Goodwill, that kind of stuff. But I really want to look into doing something where I can like resell them, um, like on a site where I can resell and then like pick a charity and like have all the money go there because like I don't need, like I'm not gonna buy the clothes and then have you guys buy them for me and like keep that money and be like, yeah. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with that, but a lot of you guys have been asking me about that and I, I prioritize what I spend. I that's why I haven't done an apartment tour because I, it's taking me forever to put my apartment together because I'd rather buy clothes and stuff like that for outfit posts, outfit videos, get the look videos, travel videos are huge now. Patrick and I saved a bunch last year so we could travel a bunch of this year. So it's all kind of like how we prioritize. I have an old ass phone. Like I like, so you pick and choose what you spend your money on, but that's kind of my short-ish explanation. This next one is how do you make friends and how do you find good spots around the city to film? For the finding places around the city to film, that honestly just takes time. We film a lot in areas that we know are really good. Dumbo, like I showed you guys in my New York guide, is really great for filming and photography because it doesn't get too crowded. Friends though, I will say, has been the hardest part about moving here. Making friends here has been really, really difficult. We knew a few people when we moved here, but um, especially how we are inside working, um, we don't meet a lot of people, but it definitely was the hardest part about moving. I lost a lot of like friends, close friends, that you know you just grow apart because your careers are different you live in different places it sucks it's sad so i think that that's a huge thing you have to factor in when moving to a new place and kind of like leaving where you're from but that is it for my video today i really hope you guys enjoyed it and got to know a little bit more more about me and i hope i answered your questions if i didn't please let me know in the comments below and i will go through and try to answer as many that i can um but anyways thank you guys again so much for watching you guys are always so supportive and sweet to me and i'm just like doped you guys are my followers and have been for so long. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye!